Are you tired of being left in the dust with the ever-evolving PC world? Are you finally ready to take your gaming and content creation to the next level? Well, I may have an answer for you, because your future processor may be on the way with Ryzen's 7000 series non-X and X3D processors. With years of innovation and improvement building upon the success of the previous generation Ryzen processors, AMD is ready to shake things up and take the fight back to Intel in a very big way. Starting with the first generation Ryzen processor, AMD has been pushing boundaries of what a processor can do. And with each new generation, they've been adding more cores, more power, and more efficiency. And now, with the release of the Ryzen 7000 series X3D and non-X processors, the competition is getting pretty damn exciting. But the X3D processors are not just for gamers this time around. They're perfect for content creators who need to render and edit high quality videos and graphics. With the 7000 series, you don't have to sacrifice clock speeds and multi-core performance like you did with the 5800 X3D. But what about those who don't need the extra power and performance of the X3D processor? Well, that is where the non-X versions come into play. They're still good for everyday use, gaming, and content creation, all while keeping your wallet happy at the same damn time. And the same as with every generation of processor that has come before it, these have more performance and are more energy efficient. The non-X processors have a lower base clock, and that's what helps lower their overall TDP. This allows for improved energy efficiency when your computer is doing less demanding tasks. In my opinion, this is a positive feature because when you're doing everyday tasks like browsing the web or just watching YouTube videos, you don't need 4.7 gigahertz as a base clock. The other advantage to the lower base clocks is it's going to save you money on your electric bill in the long run. So whether you're a gamer or a content creator or you just want a really powerful processor for everyday use, the Ryzen 7000 series lineup may have you covered. It might finally be time to upgrade and experience the difference only if AM5 motherboards will finally come down in price a lot. Now, don't get me wrong. I have high expectations for the non-X and X3D variants, but the main obstacle for many people, including myself, is the high buying cost. Not only do you have to buy DDR5 RAM, you have to buy a really overpriced AM5 motherboard. Now, the X3D models do make this more tempting, but I'm going to have to wait. I need to see the benchmarks and know that the extra money is going to have an exponential value for me at least. One thing you don't have to wait for is my review of the RTX 3060 if you want a budget-friendly GPU that might suit your needs, or the RX 6700 XT, which again is probably my favorite for most bang for the buck at the present time. Outside of that, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.